Good morning, my friends. It is time for the Morning Mindset. Welcome back. I'm glad you're taking the time to get your mind aligned with the truth of God. You know, it's nobody's responsibility but yours to get your mind in the right place for the day. And thankfully, God has given us a tremendous tool for that. It's called the, the Word of God, is what we call it. It's the Bible. It has all kinds of wisdom and truth and necessary things for us to understand that will help us to think like God thinks. Now, pause for a minute and let that sink in. We have the opportunity to think like God thinks. What do you think would be different in our lives if that were true, if we really were thinking like God thinks? Well, I think not only would we be living our lives differently, we would be treating other people differently. And that is the point that Peter has been making in 1 Peter chapter 3. We are in verse number 8, and he gives us a list of four or five different things that are characteristics that should be true of us as believers in Christ in our relationship toward one another. So this is Christian to Christian. And the one we're looking at today is that Peter says, finally, all of you have a tender heart toward one another. Oh, my tender heart. Now, that's very similar to one that he said earlier, sympathy. And then right after that, he said brotherly love. But he says this in a different way. He says tender hearted. What does it mean to you to be tender hearted? What images come to mind when you hear those words? For me, it's a person who maybe can feel what other people feel a little more. It's is very close to sympathy, but there's a little bit of a nuance to it in my mind. A tender hearted person is a person who's not resistant to the emotion that might rise up when they see another person's plight. They're a person who's easily moved to compassion, a person who uh, can get into the shoes of others and feel their pain and be moved to action on their behalf. Now, as I mentioned when we spoke about sympathy, sometimes this is difficult for me. I tend to be a person who's real practical in a lot of ways, and I look at circumstances kind of black and white sometimes, and it's hard for me to get into the shoes of the other person. But I think we all will be better served, and I know that the person on the other end of the relationship will be better served if we can be more tenderhearted. And I don't know about you, but it's not something I can just flip a switch and change. It's something I've got to take to prayer. I've got to be asking the Lord, dear Jesus, please make me tender hearted. Show me what that means. Now, I think the best place to start is in the relationships closest to you. Because it's easier to find things there that you understand better so that you can become more tender-hearted toward that person. I mean, I think about my wife. I've lived with her for over 30 years now. And we have developed the kind of relationship where I know her heart and she knows my heart. I know what hurts her. I know what causes her to struggle. I know her own personal uh, insecurities. And beyond all of that, which I think is key to this issue of being tender-hearted, I know why she has those insecurities. I know where they come from. And that gives me more of the ability to have a tender heart toward her, to be understanding. Maybe that's a better word. We as believers need to learn how to be understanding with each other. Now stop for a moment and think about your life. Who are the believers near you and around you that you could begin a prayer project in relationship to? I mean, you start asking the Lord, Lord, give me a tender heart toward that person you put in their name. Who are those people? I want to challenge you to begin praying that way, to begin asking God to develop this tender heart in you. Because being tender hearted is something that will transform our relationships as believers in Christ. When we can be understanding of each other, and extend mercy when needed and grace to help when needed. I believe the church of God will grow tremendously as a result. Don't forget, you can become a partner of The Morning Mindset. Go to carrygreen.com partners to find out more. And join me again tomorrow.